for eternity on the foundation of Christ. So a willingness among a group of people to live in harmony and to seek the good of all the members and to be willing to compromise without being made to feel foolish or unimportant. It's about, it's about fellowship um, and fellowship to me it's not just coming in talking about God but it's also sharing in uh, the, the, the positives and the negatives in, in our own lives as well. I think when you spend so much time with someone and you are so in tune with each other that you say the same things at the same time. <laughs> it might not be so obvious with more people, but you have to be on the same wavelength and thought process to be united. Uh, and a great sense of purpose, I think, is really important that everyone recognises that uh, it's important to be going in the same direction. And I think unity is modelled in the Godhead, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in perfect harmony. And just and just being together, you know, we we are we are social creatures. Um, so being with people and having as much contact with people is 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 really important, especially when it comes to ministry as well. Uh, you know, we need to be engaging and interacting with people. And the more we see people, the more we interact with people more effective our Christian witness is going to be. So that's, to me, that's, that's unity. Being a bit of a lone ranger, um, thinking and, and having, having an attitude perhaps that you know it all. The selfishness, I think, is something which, uh, which undermines uh, unity. Pride, impatience with one another. I think poor communication is something which has uh, a very negative effect on on unity. Lying, deception, um, uh, selfishness, um, uh, not not being sympathetic to people who are going through difficult times. So unforgiveness, and and uh, having a hard heart, and not being willing to uh, to give someone the benefit of the doubt. If things go wrong, people who. Uh, just just solely blame other people um, for mistakes that have happened rather than reflecting on how can I allow this situation to change me? Um, how could I have responded better in a situation? Well, for me, I think when I'm too busy and even if I've got plenty of time, I don't use my time wisely enough. And so I might just become a bit distant from either one person or a group of people and yeah that doesn't exactly help when it comes to being united. Sacrificial love and service modelled as our example by Jesus. You need to encourage and bolster uh, each other. Uh, reaching out to others and getting alongside others, uh, those that are in need, those that uh, are weak and vulnerable. Love time and trust but two-way trust not only you trusting but also being trustworthy if, if you're talking to somebody and you get the feeling that they're struggling with something you might say right well how can i support you in that spending time with with people getting to know people building up those relationships and standing together in the good times and in the bad times to feel that we're all in it together and we're all prepared to help one another the same love that Jesus has and loving unconditionally regardless of how annoying someone is. <laughs> I don't think we'd get very far with our vision if we're not unified as a church and with each other. Radiating the love of God uh, in all of our relationships is, is really important. Uh, if we are in a, a proper relationship and a unified relationship with God then we will be able to radiate that love. And to create unity, there has to be something which draws people together. And we have a, a great advantage in the church because the love of Jesus and the love of our Father draws together. Um, and so he, he encourages us, our Father encourages us to love ourselves and to love one another and to reach out. And so I think that's, that's really important that we understand that we are loved and so we can reciprocate that love in loving one another.
unity helps because everybody has different skill sets. Everybody, you know, some people might have uh, the gift of evangelism. Some people might have the gift of discipleship. Some people might have the gift of prophecy. And we can, you know, we can all together draw on those strengths and uh, kind of, if you like, station people uh, to help to help them u utilize um, <clears throat> and optimize uh, their skills. You know, the more time that we spend with people, the more that people can recognize those gifts and help us to tailor them, change them, amend them, strengthen them, and help us to be the greatest resource that we can to our to our loving, amazing God. So.